Okay, so we are here today with one of my dear, dear, dear friends, Jenna Moyer, and I am thrilled to show you guys what she and her family are doing with their farm. Now, farm and Kajabi is not something that normally goes together, but I will tell you, this is the most beautiful expansion and development that I have seen Jenna go through. And I have seen many iterations of Jenna, as I'm sure she will share with you. Um, but I think that what you're, we're going to show you is it's incredibly cool from a business standpoint, from a Kajabi standpoint, and more importantly, it is just, she lights up when she talks about the farm. So welcome, Jenna. Hey, <laughs> thanks so much for having me this morning. I feel like, like I'm being reborn of the like four years, three and a half years of being your, your Kajabi child. Because <laughs> um, just being with you from the start of deciding that I was going to leave my corporate job and start working from home and how it's all evolved from it being just like my thing to now it being our entire family and, and, you know, using this land that we've been really blessed to have access to, especially in this time um, when a lot of people are, are stuck inside apartment buildings and don't have access to getting outside. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to have just everything come full circle. Everything's like falling together and I'm really excited about the site and how it's turning out. It is absolutely beautiful. And while I am pulling it up, you have to tell everyone a little bit about how, how, do you, how did you get a farm? Like a farm is not something that most of us are like, hey, I got a farm. And it's definitely not something <laughs> I ever envisioned ever in my life. I never thought that I would live on a farm, even though I, I live in a very small rural um, town in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, my husband's grandfather was a dairy farmer. And um, when we first got married, we did live here on the farm in, a, in another house, not in the main farmhouse. Um, and, uh, you know, like, I always love the outdoors, but my husband, he, he's not a farmer, he's a mechanic. Um, but when his grandfather passed away about four years ago, um, his uncle uh, continues to lease the farm out to another dairy farmer for all the fields, but we have access to probably another 70 or 80 acres. It's about a 160 acre farm um, that's just wooded area. Uh, and so his grandfather, you know, was always, my husband always says, like his grandfather would always say, you know, that's just useless land because he was the farmer, you mm -hmm. know, and like couldn't have cows in the, in the woods or anything like that. Um, but uh, when we first got the idea to start hosting, like having a camping site or what most people call glamping um, on our farm, uh, my husband was really excited because it gives him a way to kind of connect with that piece of his childhood of growing up here on the farm, um, but not have to farm it. Uh, and so uh, he works a full time job. And, and uh, so it's just been really, really from the past three years to kind of see that piece of him kind of be in like seen mm -hmm. and that dream of his be seen. And then for me, because my background in business and marketing and, and sales to be able to take my background and kind of connect with this, you know, part of him, uh, it, it really is like what we've been dreaming about since we've been married. Uh, and this year we've just really seen it grow. And, um, and I think it's because we both finally decided, you know what, this is what's working for, not only for, uh, for like business wise, but also for us, like mm -hmm. our kids are teenagers. We're going to have a senior in high school. She is an outdoorsy science, you know, our son is a boy scout. So like everything, it, it's all four of us. Mm -hmm. and, and then some, my mother-in-law, <laughs> you know, my father-in-law. So uh, it's, it's become what you've talked about with me <laughs> since the beginning of like, what is our vacationing life look like? Yeah. Mine isn't the beach. Mine yep. is in the woods on the hammock, um, on hiking trails and uh, connecting to this land that has a lot of, a lot of legacy, a lot of heritage, um, connection to both of our ancestors. So uh, it's really beautiful. We're really in, enjoying it. It is such a, ideal blending of all of you and you know I mean for me Chris and the kids have been a part of every layer every fiber every right. 
webinar, every check, everything. I've, they've always been woven in. And I think that is, like you said, and I, you know, I've you called it vacationing life for years, you know, living deeply fulfilled by all that we do. Mm -hmm. And it's what that is for your family. And I will tell you, like looking at the site, it's the perfect blending. It is yeah. all of you guys. And that is what I wanted to show all of you because it's how Jen is using Kajabi is just, it's genius and it's beautiful. And it's just the tool that's allowing her family right. to really step into what you guys have always wanted. So right. you want to take us on a tour of the sure. digital farm. Yeah, um, so our farm is the Thunderbird Farm, uh, and my where did husband that, and I, Where did the name come from? So the, the, the name Thunderbird Farm comes from two things. So if you're staying here on our farm, if you're here for any amount of time, you most likely will see bald eagles. We're only about maybe 10 miles from a um, birds of prey sanctuary. Hmm. So hawks, eagles, um, and the bald eagles have, in the past four or five years, have really come back. So we have a nest maybe about two miles from us. We know that they're, I mean, I, I've seen him sit in the tree in my backyard. Um, if you've wow. never seen a bald eagle up close, they are huge. <laughs> um, I've mistaken him for like another animal. And then I realized that it's a, it's a bald eagle. Um, so that's part of it. Uh, and then I'm also um, Iroquois descent. So I have Native American descent in my family. Our land also, um, and I'll share a little bit about that in a bit, mm -hmm. we also have an um, indigenous encampment of, of Algonquin Indians that lived here that's listed in our deed and everything. But we were both um, raised by our grandparents. And my, we kind of have, that's why we call it nostalgic modernism. Mm -hmm. My husband oh. also has a 52 Ford Thunderbird. He's a mechanic. Mm -hmm. So it kind of, um, eventually down the line, we would love to kind of showcase my husband a little bit with that. So that's where the Thunderbird Farm comes from. A lot of different intertwined, but we felt like it just really encaptured everything here. Oh, I, it's, it's genius. I mean, you know, the trademark attorney in me and the branding <laughs> aspect absolutely loves this. Like, and that it's such a genuine reflection of, yeah, it has a story. I mean, that's what great brands do is they have a story yeah. that can, it has to be unique. It has to, because it's your story. So I have, I love it. Um, what did you decide to do with the opt-in? So we're deciding to do kind of a, become a part of our farm. Uh, so every month in our email list, I'm going to send out kind of the behind the, se behind the scenes of what's happening at our farm. Um, a lot of, from what I've talked with people, they think like there's this kind of fantasy of what it's like to be on a farm <laughs> and, and I would say some of that fantasy you know some of that fantasy is real I, I mean we we live a slower life here in many ways and then in other ways life is really busy mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of things to do when you have 160 acres of land um, but at the same time you know I can sit on my front porch swing and not see a car drive past my house for a good two or three hours, you know, so um, kind of sharing a little bit of that behind the scenes of like, maybe if we're doing an upgrade we have in the future of adding more sites, what's going on with our teenagers, because mm -hmm. even though we live on a farm, life with teenagers is just as hard as everybody else's <laughs> life with teenagers, <laughs> um, you know, just little things so that you can feel like you're a part of our farm, even when you are maybe, you know, closed up in your apartment in the middle of LA and you're not allowed to even go outside. Um, if we can share a little bit of the beauty of what we have here, yeah. um, we really believe like that's the way we are good stewards to this land because there aren't many family farms anymore. Um, a lot of farms are turning more into like corporate farming. Um, and so that's what we want to really share with everybody is let them kind of feel like they're they're a part of our, our daily lives. I love that. And that is an ideal lead magnet for you. I don't need a PDF. I don't need a challenge. I don't need yeah. an email template. Like you really have aligned inviting people into your world right. in exactly the right way. 
And so kudos to you. I think it is perfectly aligned with what you are doing. So yeah, where, where, excited. where should we go next? What, what would you like? So I guess if you want to, um, we can scroll down and we can go okay. through this page and then we can kind of go back up. So here's a little bit of like what you're going to be able to kind of, uh, capture here at mm -hmm. our farm. Some of it is a work in progress. So if there's any other Kajab years, which most likely there's <laughs> going to be a bunch of them watching, um, understand like I've been with you three and a half years. And I think at yes. first I always felt like everything on my site needs to be done. Everything needs to be perfect. Um, and I would say, and this is how I kind of also know this is so right for us. Mm -hmm. I understand that this is going to be a build, like a growth in progress. Like there's not everything on the site needs to take somebody to something it can say coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, and so the camping retreats is the, is one, like I have built that because that is our main, that's like our intro, mm -hmm. you know, as well as some of our New York city, I'm going to use your lingo. So yes, people can <laughs> Um, follow along, you know, um, the farm that gives back. So I'm a big believer that, um, you need to give back in some shape or form. And so we do give back to indigenous, um, organizations in a couple of different ways. And then handmade from our farm is all the different, um, my family's very creative in a lot of different ways. Um, so all the different types of, um, products were, going to be um, putting up an upcycle tent. I don't know if any, but we're going to, we have a whole bunch of things here on the farm that could use some tender love and care and then become someone else's treasure. So those three sites are already built. Um, so if anybody clicks on those three things, it'll take them to the next landing page. Um, our farm heritage, creative members, uh, mentorship, and the Thunderbird Farm blog, those right now, if someone clicks on them, it just takes them to coming soon mm -hmm. because I'm trying to build out my ideas for those. Um, and uh, so that's like this main part of the page. Mm -hmm. No, and I, I so admire and respect how you have grown into knowing that <laughs> our sites are always growing and they're always, yes. I mean, just think about the farm. Like you don't walk out the door, front door of the farm and everything is in full, you know, full yeah. bloom and full season and ready to pick or ready to, you know, harvest yeah. or whatever. Yeah. There's all of these different seasons and stages and right. as business and there's owners. A, there's a cultivating to it because like, yes. I think that that's the one thing I've realized if we want to use farm analogies. <laughs> let's really, use, let's use really, the farm. <laughs> <laughs> there really is this um, this cultivation to it because when I look back at the other sites that I've built with Kajabi for my own um, like mentorship type of mm -hmm. businesses, I would say that I always kind of felt like, okay, my, my end user needs to have everything there. And it, quite honestly, you don't realize what you need until you've kind of gone through and pulled out the weeds from it, you know, like, mm -hmm. um, and so... I feel like this site, and if, if for anybody yep. watching this, really give yourself some grace to kind of put it out there and then pull out the weeds, you know? So, so then when you come down, here's our farm favorites. Um, my daughter, uh, she is this amazing crocheter. I did not teach her this. Um, <laughs> she makes these cute little gnomes because we also are of Dutch descent. Um, and if you didn't know, gnomes are actually originally Dutch. Really? Um, yeah. And so their folklore is that the gnomes, one dug, this is really interesting. They would dig their basements. So the foundations of houses, gnomes supposedly were the people who did that. Uh -huh. um, and the little creatures who did that. And they also were like protectors of your your fields, your, your farm, you know, so whatever your crops were, um, they believe, Dutch believe that they had these little people um, that kind of kept them safe. Uh, and so my daughter started crocheting these little gnomes and they come with a name and what their profession is and what their hobbies are. So <laughs> um, she gets her little brother to name all of them. So and she's, my daughter, she's, like I said, she loves science. She, she's on her way to college next year. And she's using the money that she makes from these to pay for her scuba diving certifications. Mm -hmm. So um, we've, we've added, we have a little gnome garden back by our tent. 
Uh, and we want to kind of build in, since we share so much about the indigenous um, history of our farm, mm -hmm. we also wanted to share like the Dutch history of our farm as well. So I love it. And how cool is it that Izzy, who for those of you that have not yet encountered Izzy, she <laughs> will be the first person to go to Mars. Like Izzy yeah. is amazing. And for her to have this talent and this stuff that she loves and you can weave it into the farm and it can be part of the whole story. Right. I think is, it, that's what life should be. I mean, this is, yeah. To me, I it's doing life in such a, oh, right. I just get goosebumps. Because we originally, so like when I originally started the page, you know, like you kept saying to me, Jenna, you need to get your campsite up on a landing page. Just get that campsite. Like, I don't know how many times you messaged me or told me, just get that thing on a landing page. And so originally <laughs> this started as like, okay, I'm just going to make the landing page Tamsin's right. I need to just build so they can book through us mm -hmm. and they have a connection through us because our, our, our campsite is through a startup organization called Tenter, which is camping like Airbnb. So it, it, you want to kind of get an idea. So most people are going through the, the Tenter site to, to book with us. Um, and so that's how this started. But then as I started building it, I started realizing how much our farm was intertwined into all these things, even mm -hmm. something as simple as my daughter making these little gnomes, mm -hmm. um, and then us learning together about more of the culture of where that came from and how it connected to us. Mm -hmm. um, we're not, I wouldn't say we're super big history buffs here, but I do as, uh, I wouldn't say that to people, but I guess we are. Like we really, I think my husband and I, because we were raised by our grandparents, we kind of have this connection to the past that's mm -hmm. different than a lot of people our age. And we've kind of instilled that um, in our kids. So um, again, it's kind of woven in there. And mm -hmm. then it brings me to my aprons, which is originally what I did when I first mm -hmm. came home from my corporate job. Um, uh, after 10 years of working sales and marketing, I was like, I can't, I can't do another sales call. And I love to sew, so I just started making aprons, um, and so I have vintage aprons that I make, and we've just decided that any of the marketplace items, which are like the gnomes and my aprons, um, we found another indigenous organization um, that supports uh, women that are in crisis, indigenous women in crisis, as well as um, helps with the searching of the um, women that are traffic to, um, on the reservation. So mm -hmm. we're giving 10% of all of those items that are made with our hands because we feel like that will be just a, a really important piece of the puzzle. Cause that's what I did when I first came home, I made these aprons and I would donate to a local women in crisis, um, shelter with them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah so it, these are, you have woven together a beautiful fabric. Yeah, yeah. Fabrics and farms. Fabrics and and, farms. <laughs> and you're using the Shopify integration for your yes. physical products. Yes. Um, and at first, Looks beautiful. Like, I thought, I mean, it's so easy to use. I, at first I was like, oh gosh, this is going to be, because I wouldn't say that I'm not tech savvy, but you know, just like anybody else, when you're trying to do something new, like, oh gosh, how how is this going to fit in or mm -hmm. am I going to have to know code? And in all honesty, you don't have to really know anything other than how to load your pictures and copy and paste. Yep. Um, and so it's, it's really nice. The fact that they get a shopping cart, all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, and we've done well since I added this, that's been a great addition. Um, I love it. Well, because how fun is it when you're, coming to the farm for the people that can come to the farm mm -hmm. and can book a, a stay at the tent. Mm -hmm. I know that for myself and Chris, whenever we travel, we always buy a Christmas ornament from where we stay. Right, and right. so our, that's something that we've all, my in-laws have done it for years. And so when we got married, I was like, that is a tradition I wanted to carry through in, right. you know, even though I do love looking at like the HGTV magazine of the perfect, what I'll call the the perfectly the perfect Pinterest, tree. yeah, the perfect right. tree where, oh, mm -hmm. our color theme is this. I, Chris and I both knew that 
we wanted to pick ornaments from all these different mm-hmm. places that we would go. And I've made yep. ornaments out of like the kids pacifiers and hotel keychains right. and like all right. that stuff. And so to come and stay at the farm and then be able to, oh, I can buy an apron from the farm right. and I can get a gnome from the farm. Right. And if I am in LA trapped in my you know high rise apartment, I can also be a part of the farm. So I mean, right. it's just such a beautiful piece. Um, so let me, we should probably look at the farm because yeah. the, um, the tenter, which again is oh, Airbnb so for tents. This takes you directly to book. Mm-hmm. So right now, right now I am going to, um, we're leaving it like this so they can go directly to book from tenter right now mm-hmm. until I figure out how to kind of integrate all of that. Um, I'm just using the URL link for that, and then they can go right here and and book. So this is Tenter's site that it takes it. them to. Love it. Um, but if they up at the top, if you scroll up to the top after we learned, well, on the Thunderbird farm. On the website. Thunderbird. Okay. So if you go under stay with us, and I learned how to do a little fancy drop down. Ooh, menu. drop down menus. We do love an on, <laughs> a good encore page. We'd love a good encore page. So here, if they click the book now, it's going to take them to that tenter site again. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you scroll down, and one of our campers took that awesome picture for us. It's beautiful. Absolutely we, beautiful. We added upgrades. So um, we've had a lot of people book this summer. We've been booked full. and We actually only have one more open weekend in August. Um, and so we just recently added these upgrades where they can either get full bedding because if they just book through the tenor site, um, we just put like a sheet, you know, over mm-hmm. the beds. This way, the people who've already booked, I can send them that site and say, if you scroll down, there's a bunch of upgrades. Mm-hmm. And then we're making, because Tenter does take a portion of our profit, then we're making all the profit from our upgrades. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're just and- using... I'm just using an offer. Jobby offer checkout pages. I mean, yep. it's, it's such a smart use because you're, again, you're blending two pieces together right. that if I am, I mean, I know I love a good upgrade. I'll up, upgrade me all day. What do you have? Yeah. I'll add this and I'll add this right. and I'll add that. And, no. and so this is where eventually, like I'd like to put in here, these are some of the dreams that we have. I'm a very, we've been very active campers. I'm a Girl Scout leader. So cooking over the fire classes that our campers could download via video because they have the phone. We weren't, we aren't so off grid that you don't have access to your phone. Um, and so they could download, you know, how am I going to cook a chicken over the fire? You know, like. Um, and use the Kajabi app. Yes. So, so many <laughs> things so that we smart. have. Yeah. And that like, my husband, like, you really think someone's going to want classes? I was like, honey, I went to classes as a Girl Scout leader and learned how to do all this. Um, And we found we have a lot of people who it's their first time camping. Um, So we, I really believe I could add in those classes Mm -hmm. and some type of online um, education, which Kajabi is so great about. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's the plan for next year. We want to have a full line of of Well, and how, how fun also again, because you really are expanding out, becoming part of the farm. You're becoming right. part of our world that, you know, we have a beautiful sand pit. I have a, you know, makeshift fire pit over here. Right, right. I don't have a, my in-laws went and bought us the, those sandwich makers. Oh you know, yeah. Yeah. The hobo pie makers. That's what yeah. we call them. Yeah. This city, this city girl has no clue how to make a home hobo pie of any sort. I would <laughs> totally, I'd be like, yep, go to the farm. Oh, there's Jenna's hobo cooking yeah. class. Yeah. I could take it right here in Cityville, totally. Michigan. So right. it's such a, I love that. I mean, to me, and um, I heard this first from John D'Amato, who um, is a photographer in New York City. And when he could no longer do his lifestyle pictures in person right. due to COVID, And we were talking about pivoting and he said, no, I'm not pivoting because pivot means I'm making a complete departure from what I was doing before, which some people did need to pivot. But what he said is it's expansion in this time of contraction. And to me, that is, that is what life should be that yes, things are contracting, but it 
focuses us and it gives us clarity and it has allowed you to expand right. this farm into a phenomenal experience. And because we're not farmers. And yeah. so like, that's a big part of us. And so then I have the opt-in to sign up again yep. down below um, into our newsletter. Yep. Um, but like for yeah. us, my we're, we are never going to be dairy farmers. My mm -hmm. husband's never, you know, like that's not his profession as a farmer. Um, but for us to be able to have a way to own the farm, to run the farm, to make it worth our while, like that's why we say we're really reimagining what the family farm looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, cause our farm, the size it is, is not in today's world. It's not big enough to be a dairy farm. It's, mm -hmm. um, and so, so this is a way that we can actually leave that legacy for our kids and, um, hopefully it gives them a way to continue it also to yeah. see it. Yeah. Cause you're so this not is us. Yeah. This you're is, not limited. My <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My daughter, Izzy, and my son, Dennis. Mm -hmm. My husband's name is Dennis as well. Uh, and so this is us. We realized when I did this page, I said to my husband, anybody who has teenagers might be able to relate. We have not had a family picture in probably three years since we were at Disney. <laughs> um, and so like, I was trying to find a family picture and I'm like, they're all, they're so much bigger now. Like I had to do individual pictures of them until we I, and then that made the, like, we need to have a family picture this year. <laughs> we need to schedule mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Totally agree. And so this is about us. This is just about our, who we are, um, a little bit of our history and mm -hmm. um, just sharing that yeah. with people who want to know. I love it. Um, so that's, that's that part of the. I love it. And I love how you're continually just inviting them to be part of the legacy, be yeah. part of the farm. Like, and. Yeah you know, we've talked about this, your a lead magnet doesn't have to be a freebie. It doesn't have to be like feeling like it's overwhelming. Right. Like, oh my gosh, I have to deliver all this stuff. Like, right. no, I can just invite you to be part yeah. of my world. Like that's yeah. plenty. Yeah. And, and I think like, that's where like the continuation of that into like my Instagram stories, um, mm -hmm. you know, like the continuation of it, it makes it, it feels so less daunting for a while I was trying, like you said, we've talked about this. Mm -hmm. I was trying to like, what's my download going to be? And everything that I was like trying to make a freebie, I was like, that doesn't encompass everything that we do. Right. It just didn't feel like it was enough. Um, so yeah. So, uh, so you went to farm life. That's where it has, uh, us brings them back home to stay with us as our reservations, the farm stand. If you click on that, you'll see the drop down of that. I love this. So let's so, gotta love kind of, a good drop down. I know. Once we learned, I was like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> um, so uh, one of the things that I'm trying, like I said, we're trying to incorporate in everything is this kind mm -hmm. of um, heritage kind of nostalgia with the, the things that we sell. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I sew, so I love fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, and so starting to do kind of this, Artis artisan shambori dyeing techniques, mm -hmm. um, eventually doing classes, but then also having products. So my mother-in-law, my daughter and I, we did some tea towels and again, use the Shopify. Mm -hmm. People could use these as fabric if they wanted to, mm -hmm. um, or they can use it as the tea towel. Uh, I actually took two of them and made them in the throw pillows. So um, that's, that's my favorite favorite thing to do with napkins and placemats and tea towels. Turn them into throw pillows. Turn them into throw pillows. Totally. I, like, I, always, I like to do one fabric on one side and one fabric on the other. In fact, I have right. one right here. Yep, right one there. fabric on one side, yep. one fabric on the other. And yep. it is, again, I just know that being a part of the farm and if I stayed there, I would want to buy this to bring home right. with me. And if I could never stay there, I could buy it and have a part of the farm right on my couch, in my kitchen, exactly. on my bed. Like it is I me. Mean, you have expanded in this time of contraction in such a beautiful way. Right. And, and I, I would say I was one of the people panicking about like, I, I really need to jump on this. I know that I can, I know that we can jump on this and it'll all work, you know? And for a while I was like in this anxiety mode of like, Oh, Jenny, you're going to, 
you're going to not do what you need to do during this time. <laughs> you know, like for a while I had that anxiety. This is another thing as well that I can also add an upgrade to teach classes with the people who are here camping, but I can also add the education model of online. So mm -hmm. I can teach a Shambori class um, to people online, build kits that people like I could do an offer where you can get the yeah. kit to do it. Um, so there's a lot of ways that I have in the future that I want to expand um, as well as just fabrics for quilters as well. Like there's a whole market of quilters who really um, like to get hand dyed mm -hmm. uh, fabrics. So yeah, it is. that's the idea for this. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then if you click on the farm stand one more time, mm -hmm. that takes you um, to the marketplace which this is where we have our gnomes, is these gnomes. My mother-in-law also makes these beautiful dream catchers. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also, we just purchased a event tent. Oh, there's our guy. There he is, just a second. It's okay. Hi, buddy. Can you say hi to Miss Jenna? How you doing? You're growing so big. So I big. I can't believe how big you've grown. So big. He needs he needs juice. So I'm gonna grab oh, some go juice. Oh, get the real juice. Quick. That's important. Because we've important. we've lost daddy. So okay. That plate. Yep. All right. I understand. We are back. The, pu the puppy scratching <laughs> on the door downstairs. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Puppies and kids. Okay. Puppies and kids. And yeah. I'd say you do such a good job choosing your background videos it's on hard. your pages. <laughs> I know, but you do such a good job. Oh, thank you. Um, who do you, where do you get your background videos I've been videos getting from? them from Pixels because they're free. I love Pixels. I love them. So, because, you know, you could spend like how much money on them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and, like, if I can find something that goes enough for now, yeah. like I keep, I want to record our own videos, but for now, I'm like, I'm just going to get something that kind of feels the vibe enough, you know? Yeah, you, you do a fantastic job choosing those. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, so the marketplace right now is the gnomes, any of mm -hmm. Isabella's crocheted creativity. She has more woodland creatures coming. And then my mother-in-law's dream catchers. But like I said, we're going to be building this upcycle tent. We bought one of those big bridal tents, mm -hmm. um, put out in our, we have a big like driveway area. Mm -hmm. um, and my mother-in-law and I love to upcycle things. Um, we call it, we call it the Moyer Home Depot and the Moyer like flea market because <laughs> like if you want something to, it, it's like pickers on our farm. Mm -hmm. So like my cabinet here in my office, like all of it was found in an old trailer, an old barn, Love because it. this, it's been in my husband's family since his grandfather came back from World War II. So there's just so much here. Um, so we're going to add those things and have like the dates that were open at the marketplace and things like that. So. I love it. I mean, it yeah. really is, um, you've blended, I mean, you've blended it all together. And I will say having watched all of the iterations over the years, like all of the different pieces, you, I always say right time, right place, right people. Yeah. It does. It all falls into place. And all of your skills and your passions and your kids and your husband and your in-laws. And I mean, all yeah. of it has and I would just say like together. working at it. Like I, like I, you said this to me over and over again, but like I have made money with Kajabi. It might not have, I'm not like one of the hundred thousand dollar Kajabi heroes yet, but yet. yet, but you know, like I have done well in the three years, well enough to keep it going mm -hmm. and figure out what I'm doing, like mm -hmm. what it is that's really going to light our souls on fire mm -hmm. um, to do through Kajabi. Um, and so just for anybody who's kind of feeling like I did many times, like, oh man, I just wish that I could get this the way I want it to be. Just keep working at it. It'll eventually, you know, develop itself. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I, I definitely feel like that's where we're at now. Mm -hmm. And now we can dream. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's um, what's so rewarding about seeing the site. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it is. Um, you've, I mean, you, it is, you've brought it all together and it is sustainable and it is expandable and it is, I think I've, I've in my brain, I've at least coined new terms. Like you got to pandemic proof this stuff now. Like oh, totally. you've got to be diversified and be adaptable yeah. so that when things happen, you right. can adapt and you can right. flex. And that's exactly what you've done. I mean, the, the farm has flourished in yeah, this. Totally. Be- totally. <laughs> and that's where, you know, like this is our third season having the campsite. Our first mm-hmm. season, we were only like half a season. We did okay. Last season, we were pretty much... I wouldn't say every weekend, but most weekends from May to, to October. Um, and now this year, we could have never expected that the only thing that people were going to really be able to do was go camping. You know, like mm-hmm. it, very honestly for vacations, I just, I'm sure everybody can say they know friends or themselves who vacation plans were canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is the one thing where because they're so isolated, there's no one else but you, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, like it gives someone the opportunity to take their family camping or just you and a friend to have that social distance, but spend time together. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so really this was, this was our year of it really seeing Mm -hmm. that it was flourishing and like, okay, how do we build on top of that? Because Mm -hmm. eventually, please Lord, COVID won't be a thing, right? Hopefully. Um, but hopefully we will have introduced more people into another option mm-hmm. for what they can do with their families. Um, and then like that kind of brings me to the heritage piece, also introducing people to something that we feel is really important mm-hmm. is that um, we aren't the owners of the land. Um, we're just the stewards of the land. Mm-hmm. Like there were people here before us, there will be people here after us. Um, and so that's why every night stay, we donate $10 to an organization, organization called All Tribes DC. They lobby for indigenous rights in Washington DC. And then, like I said, all of our marketplace stuff, we're gonna now mm-hmm. start um, donating to women um, on reservations. So mm-hmm. it means a lot to us that we recognize that here on the East Coast, because a lot of people um, don't know about the indigenous people here on the East yeah. Coast because it happened a lot sooner than what things were happening out West. Yeah. Um, and so we want people to kind of get to know that history different than what they learned in their history classes, as well so as their important. kids. Like it's re-educating kids on, on what um, the truth of that is. And yeah, um, we're really lucky that our farm, um, our farm was actually purchased, this is, I'll share a little history, Um, Our farm was um, purchased from William Penn, the man who originally owned this farm, purchased it from William Penn. He owned acres, like thousands of acres of land. Um, And in his deeds, he actually, he kept fairly good records of Mm -hmm. his interactions with the Algonquin people here on the farm. For a period of time, he couldn't come back because things, there was unrest. Um, And so just kind of really sharing the truth of how that colonization happened here. So that matters a lot to us. And then also making sure it makes an impact for those people who this, this was their land before, Mm -hmm. before us. So it's, it's so important. And it is to me, you know, one of the core values in myself, in our family, um, in PDK. I mean, in everything for life for me is respect, like at the core kindness emanates from respect and care comes out of respect and love comes out of respect and um you know healthy debate comes out of respect and when we operate and you i mean you have this you have it as a base operating system you have a deep respect for the land for nature for people for like humans like that respect being able to have your family and your life and your business flow out of that. Um, it, it's exceptional. I mean, it's exceptional. It's beautiful. Um, you know, I love having my front row seat. I have loved it for years. Oh, thank you. (laughs) For years. You've been great support. (laughs) Really? Like I, there's been times Tamsin where like, well, you know, 
you've sent me a message exactly when I needed the message. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that comes from us kind of being at the very beginning together of things and um, as mothers understanding like we're undertaking this mm -hmm. also as like there's my <laughs> my newest baby is crying there's your newest um, baby <laughs> the newest pu the puppy the COVID cu the COVID puppy if anybody else has a COVID puppy you know what I'm going through um, and so like just really understanding like this is a this is a secondary role to my first role in trying to manage that so mm -hmm. um yeah. It's, it's been really wonderful to have you in my corner. Always and forever. Always <laughs> and forever. Well, I will make sure to share where they can find you on Instagram, where they awesome. can find the farm. And I would encourage all of you listening, go become part of the farm. Follow along. Uh, this is how I'm going to enjoy being a farmer because yes. <laughs> I'm not a farmer. It's how I, I enjoy being a non-farmer. <laughs> <laughs> I always said to my husband, because he has always like said, I want to be a farmer. And I'm like, I'm not a farmer's wife. I can handle the mechanic's wife and drive old cars, but I don't know if I can handle being the farmer's wife. Yeah, I, am, I am not a farmer. There's not, and my husband really isn't a farmer, but my <laughs> children, especially Kip, Kip is our, let's go camping. Let's do this. Let's do that. Right, right. And so having this which you know when we can travel you know we will be making a visit but I would love that. having these pieces that you know selfishly allow me to do and be part of something that i normally never would right is it's again i mean it's it's why we're all kajabians you know yeah it's, and i think so also in this time where we want connection um in so many ways being able to be connected to someone's life who doesn't look like yours mm -hmm. You know, like, I think that's super important. I think it will bring more connection um, to us as people. If we can, if people can see like, oh, my life doesn't look like yours, but we could still share to be a part of each other's lives. And um, so, yeah, that's what we hope out of what we're doing here on the farm. And my baby's well, crying. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jenna. Thank you for inviting us into the farm and showing us the farm and, I, I am going to keep my front row seat for the next 20, Thank 30, you. 40 years. Thank you. And I know it's going to just keep evolving and growing and you, you can go take care of that baby. I can go take care of it. I can let the baby in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>